G'day, I'm Eddie Springer, here to talk to you in this RV Daily Technical Series. And we're going to do a bit of a Q&A today. Uh, some of the issues that we see uh, pop up again and again, and some of the questions we get very often in our store, online, and some of the questions and comments we've had recently uh, as part of this series through talking about batteries, lithium batteries, solar panels, and some of the other products we've done. So the first thing that we see far too often which is affecting performance is solar panels being partially shaded. So when we get panels coming in on utes and canopies, we're seeing a lot of this sort of stuff where panels have got bars over the top of them, too close to them for shading in morning and afternoon, or just blatantly panels straight across the top. And some of the claims we're having is, well, it's only, it's only shading one or two percent of the panel or five percent of the panel, it's not going to affect the performance. And that is completely false. Hard shadow lines across the cells of a solar panel will dramatically reduce its ability to perform and its ability to produce power. If this was a 140, 150 watt panel, and it's able to produce seven amps at 12 volts in full sun, if we're getting some shadowing, even in the corner of this panel, and it's a hard shadow line, we're gonna drop the output of this panel to one, one and a half amps, okay? We have dramatically reduced its output. Shadow lines across the panel, hard shadow lines from structure and supports and rails around roofs or shovels or whatever you've got up there. If it is shading that panel, you're going to dramatically reduce its output. A bit of morning shade from a tree, a bit of afternoon shade, not a problem. You know, your peak power window for your solar panel is between 10 and 2. Slightly better if you can capture full direct sunlight between 9 and 3. Morning shade, afternoon shade, the power out of the sun is gone by then, but permanent hard shadow lines is a definite no for solar panels up on a roof. If you need that panel in, to be performing and that's the only spot you put it, you can put it, you're better off having it as a portable array. You know, something you can get out, get in the sun, move it around, track the sun during the day. 